please join us to learn about Eric's Theatre Tech Island. I've started so many productions as a set designer and builder with grandiose ambitions of making the most beautiful and unique sets ever envisioned. Then reality sets in and I, I realize how trying te technical theater is. As a part of a diverse design team, there are many considerations to make and in between navigating through different design challenges and finding a middle ground with other collaborators, there are many things that a designer needs to take into consideration before completing a set. The creation of Theater Tech Island alleviates these difficult situations in addition to being a simulation tool for set design, it is also an educational tool showing and preparing students for different things that they may encounter. For my purposes, this island is really a starting point for, for beginners. High school students with little to no experience in technical aspects of theater, as well as design elements. So I'd like to take you on a tour of a few instructional spots on the island. Where we are right now will be a gathering place, and there's no formal plans for instruction at this moment. So it's a centralized location without any sort of instructional function. So I think that this is a great place to start and it's a nice blank slate. This is a construction studio. Within it, there's a simulated shop environment where visitors can see different types of tools and the ways that they are situated for operation. In this truly instructional environment, visitors can identify tools and see short video clips as to how tools are operated. The first step toward any working competency with a tool of any kind is learning what it is and in what situations it can be used. In a live environment, this place can be used for lecturing and specific instructions can be given depending on the situation. For future development, I would like to add animation to the tools and populate this environment with objects that are in the process of being completed. For example, a partially finished platform. I believe that seeing a realistic environment is paramount for creating immersive environments. A main theme of this island is to have students and visitors take copies of objects that they see and build an inventory so that they could use it in the development of a set design. Having a varied stock of objects is important, and this is one place where students can collect furniture, wall pieces, lighting fixtures, and other objects. Visitors are also encouraged to remix the objects, changing the colors and the scale so that their vision can be realized more thoroughly. In the future, I will be populating the shop with much more objects. As time goes on and there is a large volume of objects, another shop can be made, creating themed shops. In this virtual world, we are not limited to space constrictions and are open to designing with a seemingly enormous amount of objects. In following the same ideals of the prop shop, this store has larger, more structural pieces of a theatrical set. Inside here, you can find various sizes of walls and doors and other items like that. Again, Students are encouraged to take copies of the stock and remix it to fit their needs. Future plans here include more population of objects. In this recreation of an actual theatrical stage, students are encouraged to work either by themselves or with a partner in arranging a set design. They can take things out of the inventory and create a set with the structural pieces that they have accumulated as well as a prop from the prop shop. By working with the partner, they can collaborate and discuss the design as well as archive their product and snapshot. As theater is a collaborative process, they are encouraged to start talking about the concepts they have and visually construct. So as you can see over here on the stage, I have some pieces that I took from the structure facility and from the prop shop, and I've already started arranging them in a set. Um, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna add another couch over here, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So I have all these items in my inventory, I've copied them, and that's in a tutorial. And I'm gonna take this sofa, I'm gonna drag it onto the stage. And as you can see, right in front of your eyes, <laughs> it's right there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to edit it, and then you could do all sorts of things with it. You could rotate it, you could position it differently, you can move it up, you can move it back, forward. Um, sometimes items come in a little bit too low, so you might have to make them a little bit higher. And I'm lucky that this seat is actually able to be sat on. So, um, so in conclusion, I think I'm sitting backwards and I don't mean to be rude, but uh, as I think the success of this island is dependent on the amount of objects that visitors have to work with, 
more time in the future will give me more time to practice and obviously more time to populate the island with more complex objects, animations, as well as areas that discuss maybe theatrical lighting and sound. So in the future, I hope to do some more work and I hope that everyone comes and visit me again. Thank you.